Hey everyone, welcome back to Beekeeper with Natalie, or welcome to if you are new. A little bit of a different scenery today, actually. This is what happens when we actually do the videos I want to film. <laughs> we end up in a canoe on a pond. So, I want to do a short video today just talking a little bit about, like, things that the bees need and maybe I've done I'm not doing a series on it but it's just been kind of mentioned a lot right now is the things that you're wanting to look for whenever you're deciding to do an out yard or wherever if you're just wanting to get bees and all that so one of the things that we try to pay attention to whenever we're trying to find a yard or a place to put bees is just to make sure that there's somewhere for them to get water because it's really important for them to have a good water source and it typically not like too far from them. I mean, they'll go pretty far, but like this right here, this is actually at our home yard. So this is actually just right down the hill from the actual hives. And this is just our pond here. This one is, it's one with nature for sure. We don't do anything to it. It just gets filled up by rain and then just whatever happens, happens. So there's a lot of stuff in here and I don't really know what's in here, but the bees tend to really like it. And during the summertime, like right now, we have just little logs that will be floating somewhere. And they're usually covered in bees. So I don't know if you can kind of see it today, but like this whole log here is just covered in honeybees. Now this isn't gonna be like normal, like everybody's pond. It's pretty much just because we have millions of bees here, but it just shows how much they like a pond like this because we have a really nice creek also behind us and they don't tend to go to that very much so yeah i don't know if you can see that but you can definitely hear them or at least we can and i also don't know if you'll notice the dragonflies but they're really bad and we have i'm pretty sure our dragonflies are the size of a bird they're huge and there's so many of them and whenever you see them flying over top like this that like they are right now they're usually actually eating honeybees so that's fun. There's not much you can really do about that, but the bees seem to do okay. But I know that that's definitely what's probably going on right now with those dragonflies. Another thing you can do is a bird bath works really well, but instead of a bird bath, like a bee bath is what we call it. So like you'll just take, it's actually broken, but it's just like a, a big bowl and then we put a bunch of rocks into it and then fill it up with water whenever we have the chance. Bees seem to like that a lot too, so that's something to maybe look into if you just want to have something. They'll go to it quite often, especially during like the fall when it's still a little warm outside, but we want to feed them. Sometimes we'll feed them through that and just give them our leftover syrup. So that's kind of like open feeding, but it's a little different. Anyway, that's kind of it. But one of the things I did, kind of tried to read a little bit on it with the whole pond thing, but I know that there's like a ton of minerals in here that. I don't know exactly what attracts them and everything, but I read some stuff on the algae too, so I don't know, but it's just one thing to note whenever you're looking into a new yard. I also thought it would just be a cool video to show that because they're really out and about today. But this is pretty much every day and they just fly all over this whole thing and you can see them really well in person, so is that is that it? I think that's pretty much it. So kind of just a short video, but... It's not super pretty, but it's okay. The bees like it, so we'll keep it like that. Anyways, we actually, I'm probably going off topic right now. We've been putting fish in here, so we'll see if that kind of helps with the all the crap on top, because we put some, whatever those things are called. I don't know what those are called. Catfish? No, we do have catfish in here, but it's something else. Anyway, different video, but that's pretty much it for today's video. So thanks for watching. Follow along for more bee adventures and be here next time on Beekeeping with Natalie.